Welcome to the Toucan Talks podcast, where we bounce from topic to topic with our guests to give you an inside look at their life as a business owner. No question is off limits as we talk about what has led to the successes, the challenges, and more. And this podcast is brought to you by Kickstart Studios. Kickstart Studios is Wilmington's newest video podcast studio. Equipped with multiple camera angles and an in-house producer, creating a high-quality video podcast has never been easier. Don't let the tech and gear learning curve hold you back from jumping into podcasting or creative video content any longer. Our team takes care of it all for you so you can focus on the message you want to share. You simply show up, record, and receive the final product. No more wasting time setting it up and breaking down the gear, setting up lights, or doing sound checks on your own. Our in-house producer will have everything set up and ready to go for you. So check us out at Kickstarter Studios. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming back for another episode of Two Can Talks. Today, we are here with my friend Kelly Barefoot, who I've known since high school. Um, so give us a little bit about you, name, business name, so we can uh, get to know you a little bit. Yep. My name is Kelly Barefoot. I own Shelf Genie of Coastal Carolina. So we specialize in custom closets, custom pull-out shelving, laundry rooms, bathrooms, pantries. Really, if there's a space, uh, we can build something in it to maximize your area. So That's we've, awesome. Yeah. We've been in business for five years. Um, this past June was five years. Um, we are a franchise, but a local business and we can kind of get into that in a little bit and um, I'm a mom of three we have um, a six-year-old a two-year-old and then our whoops baby a one-year-old and um, they keep us busy and so does our team yeah I bet (laughs) (laughs) that's uh that's you know you've got it's one thing to have a business and a team to manage but a family yep that's the that's the real kicker yeah I always say like you know you're like excited to go home from work like just relax and it's like yeah. you know the real work starts at five when we get home yeah that's it yeah man and I'm forever telling my husband Wes he needs to put his computer away and play with the kids <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard time shutting it down <laughs> yeah and you gotta gotta find that off switch somewhere yep. inside of you yep um so that's a good little synopsis about what you do sounds like a bunch of products that I need in my life to get more organized everybody so does when I have some new space we're going to be hitting you up for that. But, uh, so who, like, who would you say is your like target, like client, like who, who uses your service? Yeah. So it's kind of crazy. So we started in the pullout shelving, um, like I said, five years ago, and and that's really like the 55 plus community, mm-hmm. um, mostly female. Um, they're, they're usually the one that calls. Um, right. and then when we get in to do the in-home design consultation, the husband gets really excited and, um, so yeah, it's, I cool. mean, really both, but then the, the closets is kind of different. So you've got some retrofit, um, mm-hmm. with that same demographic, but then, um, new home construction, yeah. you know, um, uh, younger generation where maybe they bought an older home, but they don't like the wire shelving. So it's right. kind of, I mean, we can really help anybody. Sure. Right. When you started mentioning who uses your product right after I said, I need to use your product, you said 55 plus women. And I was like, <laughs> oh gosh, did I just really stick my foot in my mouth that never, early on? Never mind. I don't really need to use your product. No, <laughs> no uh, but Laura would love. Yeah. It, no, so. I would love it. I would be one of the people that got excited upon the consultation. Yeah. I just like stuff tidy. Yes. I am. I am. My wife would say I'm probably not a deep cleaner. Like I'm not the one to start dusting windowsills, but I like to keep everything in order. Yeah. Everything needs a place. Yeah. And that's kind of our job. You know, a lot of times we'll open up the cabinet when we get to the design consultation and, you know, Tupperware is flying out of the cabinet and then you open up the pots and pans and the lids like slide off of them onto right. the floor and it's frustrating, you right. know, so that's what we're there to do is find what frustrates the client and give them a solution so that everybody has a place for everything. For sure. So do you guys have a slogan with Shelf Genie? Like uh, everything within reach. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Because I, when you said like everything needs a place and uh-huh. I was like, that sounds like a great slogan. Yeah. I wonder if that's it, but everything in reach that yep. makes also great sense. Yep. So sweet. Well, uh, I know you said you've watched some clips of this. Um, you've been in business five years. I was going to ask how long you've been in business, but you've already said it. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. I will okay. give you your little tokens here. Kidoki. We'll start see. anywhere. Yeah. We'll see if it'll stay on the board for us. Oh man, right into the business. I love it. 
All right. So I'm better about talking about that anyway. So <laughs> well, we're, we're is, all in luck. So this is like a mixture of um, like we have some stock questions and then I wrote some specifically pertaining um, to you. Okay. So, oh, I love starting off with this because um, we, <laughs> we were joking about this before, but this is really this is a real deal thing. So speak to working with your spouse. Does it make your life easier, harder, both? So it's an interesting question because while Wes and I are business partners, um, his role in our business is to just move heavy things. Um, I (laughs) run the business. Um, He doesn't really work in the day to day. Um, So it's good because we kind of stay in our own lanes. Um, Except for today, he made me move 2,600 pounds of closet shelving (laughs) and he was not there and it was really hot in the warehouse. (laughs) But usually that's his job is to do the heavy stuff and then um, I do the kind of heavy mind lifting. Gotcha. Um, But one thing that's really cool about working with your spouse, and I'm sure you see this with Laura too, is just being able to have that constant sounding board. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, you're not calling a a work, you know, counterpart or something to complain about something or share a win. It's, you know, somebody that you share life with too. And that's really fun. Sure. Awesome. Yeah. It's definitely a different dynamic. It's like, I feel like it's so easy. It's like way easier for me to get like, I don't know. I'm more forthright because it is, you know, working working with my wife, it's like, right. uh, I can just, I can really just say this and mm-hmm. I don't have to really, uh, I probably should, but like <laughs> sometimes I, I don't filter anything. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'll call him, I'll be so mad about something and I'm just like, da, 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 and then like, I don't get an answer that I like. And I'm like, click. Yeah. And then I'm like, just, <laughs> I'll just text him and be sorry, like, Wes. sorry about that. <laughs> I just needed to get it off my chest. Now we can like actually have a yeah. conversation about it. But. Right. Right. Well, what a trooper Wes and Laura. Yeah. I apologize. We love them both. I thankful, thankful, <laughs> thankful for you guys. <laughs> Yeah, it's an awesome dynamic, but it's like, who would you rather do it with? You know? Yeah, nobody like, else. Yeah, the business is so fun when you do it with someone you like. All right. I'm picking another one before you even drop a token. What am I doing? All right. Go on. Oh, you were right. Oh, you, you, you foreshadowed I that. I did. But also, <laughs> I know y'all probably couldn't catch that on the cam, but it was like, it was very close to flying off the board. Yeah. We're, we're getting, we're getting there. All right. This is a great question for you because um, I recently was at y'all's uh, little party and you were speaking about your team and everything. So what positions make up your whole team and then how important is it? So two part question, how important is it to build the right team for, for you guys? Yeah. So it's, I'm going to talk to building the right team first and then I'll talk about the the positions on our team, but we own two businesses. We're going to focus really on shelf genie, but I think there's right. a, it's so important to build the right team, the right culture. Um, you need everybody on the team to want to help each and every um, person on the team. So um, we've gone through a lot of people through the five years. Um, and we, the people that we do have, um, the, the newest member to the team has been there for a year and a half. We don't have a nice. lot of turnover with the yeah. team because it's just like this is the culture. And you either fit in it or you don't. Right. Um, we are nothing without that team. And I'm sure you saw that yeah. on Friday night. I mean, I love each and every one of them. Um, they all play such a role in the success of the of the business. So um, we've got designers. So there are salespeople, our in-home salespeople. But they also do the designing on the 3D design software. They provide the solution to the client. Um, and then we have our installers. So um, the installer kind of takes over once something has sold. They go and they measure because everything is custom built. Mm -hmm. And then they call the client, schedule the install, and and go back out. And they're kind of the last person the client sees. Very cool. So you've got kind of like a comprehensive team. So there's like – and then – and so let me – go one step further you speak to your role so you're obviously you're you're kind of the owner operator here so what does your like day-to-day look like yeah so never no two days are the same ever sure um like i said today i was you know unloading a pallet of 2600 pounds because we've got the um install for that tomorrow so we i was pulling closet shelving off the pallet yeah wrapping it um you know like size pieces in in um plastic so it can be loaded on the truck tonight you Mm -hmm. know that kind of thing um a lot of times i'm focusing on marketing generating appointments um and then sales training so um i always say my job is not to sell my job is to get you the appointments and teach you how to sell yeah um so i'll do ride-alongs um try to make you know just little tweaks in the way i mean none of them need like serious overhaul in their selling right but i'm like hey maybe if we say it this way you know maybe we'll be a little bit more successful successful next time or, um, you know, things like that. Um, the installers, um, I'm just there to put out fires for them. They are all way more skilled than I ever could dream to be. Um, you know, so 
I always tell them, I can install this in my mind. So yeah. I can walk anybody through how to install glide out shelving or a closet system. Yeah. Um, but I don't really know how to hold a drill. So like, I need <laughs> right. you to do that for me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Where you could give some tips on the sales. You're not like, uh, can we adjust the angle and yeah, like and maybe you're not using the right bit or yeah. like, no, I mean, yeah. just like, no. yeah. Hands no. Off. Yeah. So, okay. I'm going to keep going down this train of thought. Cause I like, I like it. Um, so you're getting, you know, this good personal one-on-one -on -one time doing ride alongs and, and helping kind of form the way that your sales team works mm -hmm. and stuff. So being part of a franchise, so like a bigger, you know, corporation overall, are you getting fed into from that, like from the sales perspective and you're able to pass that down? Or is that something that's just like, you've, you've come to know like how to do it a certain way and you pass that on? Yeah. So that's kind of the cool thing about being part of a franchise system is you as the franchisee can kind of pick the tool out of the toolkit that you need. Sure. Um, I handle all the sales training locally um, just because I've learned it. I know what works, what doesn't work. Um, I want it done the way we do it here. Not right. saying it's totally different than any other location, but right. um, I just have a process and I know what works and how the designers are going to be the most successful. Sure. Um, other franchisees may really lean heavy on the corporate office to kind of help train their team right. and things like that. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Good to know. Sweet. Well, let's drop another token and see where Start we go. over here. Okay. <laughs> just I told straight, you, I straight business. I know. Yeah. I just told you I'm better at that. So yeah. like, let's just stay in the straight business over here. All right. Here we go. All right. Have you always been an organized person? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> so how, so how have you like gotten into this? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, here. I started in actually advertising sales. Okay. Um, decided maybe I like the advertising aspect, but the sales part of that is not for me. Right. Um, so then I moved into pharmaceutical sales. Um, I was laid off my last day of maternity leave oh, um, nice. with Kenzie. Yeah. Um, and I was given a severance package. And so it was like, do I go back, back to work or do I kind of take this opportunity to be a stay at home mom, but be paid to do it? Right. Um, so it took my maternity leave from the end of March um, all the way to October. Um, nice. In October, I was like, I'm not ready to go back yet. Um, but then I just kind of started putting feelers out to get back into the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. industry. But I didn't want to be gone from her from like 730 in the morning till six o'clock at night. Yeah. Um, Wes uh, at the time had been working in franchising. He's like, let's just look at maybe buying a business. Um, so we looked at a couple different concepts and this one just kind of spoke to me. So, I mean, I've learned all the organizing tips yeah. and, and everything along the way, but no, I was not like a professional gotcha. organizer first. That's cool. So business first. <laughs> so were you kind of like, you know, like this is like an aspirations thing. Like it would be cool to be like helpful in organizing. And I would also love to be an organized person. So I'm going to buy this business or did, was it just like, what appealed to you about it? Yeah. And I think when, um, you finally allow Wes to be on your podcast, cause I'm <laughs> going to be here first, but, um, I think he can speak to this a little bit more, but sure. like you have to buy the bicycle, you have to buy the, like the business, what you want your everyday role to be. Sure, yeah. And then you just kind of have the product that yeah. you're doing as kind of a secondary. Yeah, I like it. Um, it's like, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, I want to buy a restaurant. You know, I want to mm -hmm. buy this restaurant that I love that I ate at in California or whatever. Right. It's like, do you really want to do like that to be your day to day sure. where you're in a restaurant all day? Yeah. It's, you know, so it was a lifestyle. Um, Absolutely. I knew I could be successful in running a team. I knew I could build a sales right. team. Um, the install side made me a little bit nervous to start, but right. you know, now it's fine. Um, but no, it had nothing to do with organizing. Cool. So that's, that's cool. So you're, you really just like, invested in the lifestyle portion is more of a family choice, yes. you know, and less of a, I'm really excited about getting people organized, but now I'm sure it has grown into that. Cause that's what you do. You yeah. help people yeah. in that way, but, um, you know, all the while like shaping what you want your family time and, you know, yeah. just it's, life to look it's like. It's interesting that you say that because I tell clients this all the time. Cause they'll ask, you know, like, were you a professional organizer first? Or like, yeah. is your house like out of a magazine? I'm like, no, absolutely not. Remember I have three kids. Like yeah. I do that. I'm organizing your house. So yeah. like, when am I going right. to do mine? Yeah. Um, but when Wes first brought up shelf genie, mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way that I'm going to get the same amount of joy that I got from working in pharma, um, yeah. selling pullout shelving. I just, I, I couldn't see it right. um, until I went out on an appointment and saw that we really were helping people and I get to see the end user. When I was right. in pharma, 
I never got to see the end user. I talked to the yeah. doctor and they'd say, hey, this person's doing really great on this medication. Sure. But I never got to talk to them, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of full circle. It's, that's it's cool. Fun. Yeah. That, that's gratifying, you mm-hmm. know, at the end of the day. Yep. So Awesome. All another right. one? Yeah, let's drop another one. Maybe you'll get a two. Maybe not. There you go. Whoa. How about <laughs> it? I just need to just either talk or I don't point know. or whatever. Start grabbing them out of the can. All right. Let's see where we're going. Wait, ah. All right. I think Laura would be happier with this facing the camera. <laughs> this again. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a dare. Okay. It says switch phones and post on each other's Instagram story. Okay. Right now? Right now. Okay. I don't know what you're going to find on here, but good luck. <laughs> yeah. Let me uh, make sure I got the right account for you. Uh, there you go. All right. And so we, I, you, I don't know. I don't. I'm so bad at Instagram. So good okay. luck. So we should just out. pick a picture anywhere. Yeah. Okay. I just need good luck finding Instagram on your phone. <laughs> You're one of those lots of apps people. Well, so this is a just push down I, and then search it. Yeah. You um, know. But I'm really glad that I fixed it because this morning my Instagram wasn't working. So we wouldn't have been able to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I had to delete it and reinstall it. <laughs> That's that's life. All right. All right are we go. on? Are we even on Instagram? Yeah. Okay. I think so. I think so. I think so. Okay. Hold no, on. That is not a story. There we go. Story. You, you know, know, as we're much really both social. We're just getting so old is the problem. As much social media is, especially Kickstart does, I am not the one that does that. So. No. Yeah. Don't we're just... fear people out there watching this. <laughs> are the people that handle our social media. It's not are, him. Are not me. And they're way better at it. Um, all right. What am I going to post on here? Oh, I'm going to share this photo because I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to keep looking just real quick. Let's see. I don't know. what I, I Last one was that I did was a little unhinged. Um, so I'm just going to be polite here. And oh, and just plug his a, podcast. Way to go. <laughs> selfie. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to keep looking then because I feel like that was cheating. I am kind of cheating. The last one, I, I'm i telling you, it got weird last time. Did it? Yeah, it really did. I mean, I feel like this picture just has to be shared, so we're going with it. I love it. Oh, gosh, there's some really funny pictures on my camera reel. I mean, I feel like I'm being really nice to you right now. Okay. Oh, there's some funny ones on there. No, I feel like I'm being really nice. <laughs> I just really do. Okay. Okay. I love it. I didn't type anything. Should I type something? Whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really taking the shameless plug approach here. I don't know why. I just, I felt like being nice too. Well, while you're doing that, don't you think it's like, you remember when we were like in high school and college and like, you're like, how could this person not like this older person not figure out like, you know, they got a new phone. They can't figure it out. Or they yeah. can't figure I am getting to that age. I'm that person. Yeah. Like, I'm like, Wes, I can't figure out. I got the TV <laughs> off you, the wrong connection. Like now I can't even put Disney well, Plus on. Yeah. The when, the, when the question is like, when do we get to the point where we have to have our kids show us how to use the remote? I feel like that's kind of the like. I think I'm like, I'm teetering. On you're you're like, getting, I'm there. getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah. Right? Kenzie is smarter than I am when it comes yeah, to technology. But Kenzie's older than Huck. Yeah. So she's got some, she's got some, some miles on her for as far as operating a remote. Huck, I still have to kind of help him some. He's, he's almost five, but he can get stuff on by himself. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm on the verge like of, of getting there. And I'm, I'm kind of scared, but yeah. I can't wait till I see about this. Oh, that is so sweet. I told you I was being that nice. That is so sweet. <laughs> I love it. I'm making him blush. <laughs> That's my daughter. Yeah. It's with watermelon. I mean, with I thought watermelon. it was pretty cute. Yeah. Yeah. There's some, you were very nice compared to what I have on that camera reel. Well, I just didn't want to go too far back. I'm like, he probably wasn't planning this like before he printed this question out. And It's okay. I, I, I am. It can't get worse than last time. What did you do? <laughs> it was me and Sam from Mess Hall. He posted a picture of his hairy nipple on mine with a smiley face on it. And that was it. Well, I mean, at least he posted his own hairy nipple on yeah, yours. But no one would know that. <laughs> <laughs> you could have. It just, was really zoomed in. You could have just really done him dirty and just shared it and tagged yeah. Mess Hall. Yeah, like, I could have. <laughs> yeah. 
the owner of Mess Hall's nipple. Like, oh gosh, here we go. Hey, it's about time. All right. You've, you've been doing so good. One, back to the biz. Yeah, that was going to be our only, it was a dare, so yeah. like that was it, it's, we're done. Yeah, too, too much. All right, here we go. All right, so we've, we've kind of like, We've no, we've kind of danced around this one, but this this is a good question. Why a franchise? So I I want to hear from you because, uh, like we were talking yeah. right before this started, some people hear the word franchise and don't think you know this person's like local to Wilmington and like we went to high school together here in Wilmington, so I know you are right. local to Wilmington. So right. why? Um, it's interesting. I didn't really understand franchising before we got into it. Sure. Um, and Wes was like, you know, the benefit of a franchise is like, you know, your website is built, you know, your email address is like that you say, okay, I need an email address for me. I need one for Wes. I need one for this installer, you know, and the email address comes from corporate, you know, all that back end stuff that you don't really think about having to do, mm -hmm. um, when you start a business from scratch is kind of built out for you. Sure. A couple years in after we started Shelf Genie, we started to start a new company um, mm -hmm. from scratch in Wilmington. And I mean, props to y'all because it really, I was like, man, I have Take to like, work. I have to like get a web designer and I have yeah. to, you know, all this stuff. And so that's why we got into franchising, but it's cool because now that we're into it, it's like every franchise owner that you meet is local to right. the community. Right. Um, and it's just, they decided to buy into a business versus trying to start something from sure. scratch and have that really long ramp up time. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, that's why I love it. Yeah. Cause the, you mentioned us, uh, but it's like that, that start part of the business is easy because <laughs> that's what we do. Right. You know, we can build the website. We can do the marketing strategy, whatever it's, it's kind of built in. Right. But to, I, I've started other businesses uh, and, the cost associated with that. And then the, like, just not knowing, like, well, that's it. Like, like building who out, this, like, who do you hire? Or like, yeah. where do I even start? Right. right. Like, yeah. you know, I remember this is kind of funny thinking back to it five years ago, but they're like, you need to, you know, file with the secretary of state and right. you need to, but like, I never owned a business before. Like, right. I didn't know that's like, Hey, step number one, you know? Yeah. Right. Um, and so you just kind of have somebody to hold your hand in the opening process. And then you can kind of use the franchise, how, like we talked about right. how you need them. Right. right. So some franchisees lean really heavy, yeah. um, on the people that work in the corporate office and some Absolutely. kind of don't like yeah. me. So. Yeah. I love it. So for all you people out there, just cause it has the word franchise associated with it doesn't mean there's some rando from nowhere no they're not and i know somebody that can help you get into one too yeah I, i've met this guy as well <laughs> he does that and if you come from the podcast i am gonna get a cut of that yeah there Absolutely. you go i just plugged him there you go all right let's see it's just gotta happen really quick before uh, he's on the podcast, <laughs> we might delay his. We're just gonna his, delay so delay that his. that way I'll be like, hey, by yeah. the way, this was like a lead from me, not from, from yeah, you. From yeah. Kelly. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're back on the fun stuff. The two can. The two can. The two can. All right, here we go. This is <laughs> this is a classic. This is a classic. What is your favorite thing that comes out of a can? Uh, we're in a church. <laughs> It's, yeah, yeah. Our space is located in the back of a church, but beer is acceptable. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's beer. <laughs> beer is an acceptable. Absolutely answer. beer. Yeah. Okay. What kind of what what kind of beer? Oh, are you I'm into? like I'm not like a craft beer person. Like okay. Miller Lite. I'm just happy okay. with the Miller Lite. Okay. But it has to be really cold. Ice cold. Yes. So if you're drinking a Coors Light, the mountains are blue. Oh yeah. 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 Like, ice cold like the rockies yeah i think is what Corey here's says. a funny story about just beer um so wes had a celsius the other like it was like a saturday morning at yeah. like nine o'clock or whatever and kenzie knocked it over and it spilled yeah. everywhere and he was like oh like you know whatever she's like dad it's too early to be having a beer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, it's a Celsius, but yeah. okay. I said, I mean. Ken's, you can have a sip of that. She's like, no, I can't. I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> Slow energy drink. <laughs> I was like, ooh, okay. <laughs> I love Pretty it. funny. All right, and back to the biz. I find this, I find the business stuff fun too, though. I'm way better at answering them. So like if we can just get <laughs> once every time. What is the best business advice you've ever received? Build a team. Love it. Build a team. Okay. Absolutely. You can't do it by yourself. You can never scale by yourself. You've got to hire people that you trust and let them run with it. 
I love it. So you started what, so tell me like where you started and where you are now, as far as a team goes. The team goes. So yeah. when we opened, um, and I'm sure you heard this on Friday night, but when we opened, we again are not very handy. So we brought an installer with us yeah. to training, yeah. um, knowing that I could do the sales side of it to start. I needed to learn the sales process and everything. Yeah. Um, so we brought one installer. He's still with us today. Um, and then let's see about three months in, maybe two months in, I hired my first designer hired some people would get through training some people would not get through training you know just depending if it was a good fit or not um currently i've got four designers and four installers that work for us awesome so quite a bit of growth in five years yes and and what so you're of the coastal carolina so what Mm -hmm. area do you guys so we go from like sneeds ferry north carolina so north of hampstead down to merle's inlet south carolina oh cool that's Um, a range yeah and so we've got the team kind of strategically placed along the coast a lot of the designers still like to go to myrtle beach um so they'll just drive down um but i have one installer that kind of focuses down there and then um we have a couple installers that kind of share the area up here um yeah the cool thing about our business model is that they get to make their own schedule so like the installer that started with us first, he's a firefighter and then he works with us on the side. Um, when he's not working at the station, I have a state trooper that works with us. Awesome. Um, you know, so it's good. They can supplement their income when they're not at the station. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Cool. Let's drop another. Go over here. Hope it doesn't fly off. It's just staying right in our lane here. (laughs) Just stay in our lane. (laughs) Yeah. It'll be a better episode. I promise. It's all, all as well over here. I like the business stuff. Um, and we, we absolutely talked about this already, but we're going to ask you again. So like what led you to shelf genie like initially? Yeah. I mean, Wes is the one that kind of mentioned it. And then as we learned about the business, I'm like, this is something I can do. You know, it's a sales and marketing play. Um, I'm a salesperson at heart and I have a pretty good background in marketing. So cool. So, I mean, take a second to plug Wes here. So if, if, I didn't know who Wes was like, so how did you get linked up with Shelf Genie? So he actually was working in the Shelf Genie corporate office at the time. Oh, really? So you didn't know okay. that? I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, he worked for another franchise organization and moved after I got laid off from pharma, moved over to Shelf Genie. Gotcha. Um, and he did their like in-home in-house sales. So gotcha. a consultant, like what he does now, and I can explain that in a minute, yep. would refer somebody over to him and gotcha. then he would kind of take them through the due diligence process, gotcha. um, to see if this was a good fit or cool. not. And so, yes, he sold me a franchise. Yeah. He's actually sold me too. Um, <laughs> but now he's a consultant where like, if you're like, Hey, I maybe just want to find out if I want to own a business or if this is the right thing for me and my family at the time, um, he'll do a, like a thorough consultation with you and right. then he'll, um, make a few brand recommendations and then introduce you to the brands and then just kind of be your coach along the way. Cool. So, and yeah. his services are free. Yeah, it's an excellent service if you're like wanting to go down the road of franchising uh, or like owning a business really is what it is because he is an honest guy, which is awesome. So he doesn't steer you down a path of like something that wouldn't be a good fit. No, it keeps him up at night if somebody, you know, gets into business and it's something that he recommended and they're not doing well. I mean, it really, he takes each and every person and says, you know, like I would want to be treated, you know, with integrity as well. So absolutely. um, He's really good at what he does. So, so to, to plug him one last time, if you're looking and I say last might not be the last, but it's the last right here. If you're looking like, if you're thinking, Oh, like business ownership might be a cool thing for me to do. And like, it's worth a look for sure. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And he's got um, a podcast as well. Yeah. Um, and he interviews founders of yeah. franchise brands. So you can just go on and kind of listen yeah. to path to freedom, path to freedom. So it's path number two, two. F R D M yep. dot com. Yep. Um, and yeah, he's got podcasts on there and his email and contact is on there as well. Awesome. All right. Enough about him next, next time. I'm way cooler anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Okay, here we go. We only get twos when two lands in the same spot. That's it. (laughs) I don't know what this is. This is the added one. We got it. This is the new one. What is your, you know, have you heard of a spirit animal? Yeah, but I don't know what mine is. Okay, well, we're not going to ask that question. It's okay. What is your spirit food? Food? Yeah. Absolutely pepperoni pizza. Wow, that was so quick and confident. (laughs) (laughs) I'm impressed. 
So everybody loves pizza. I everyone mean. does. Yeah. And so you feel like you're just you your kindred spirits with pepperoni pizza is like everyone I guess so. likes pepperoni yeah, pizza. Every- I'm just down to hang out. Drink a cold Miller, Miller Light and eat a slice of pizza. A slice of pepperoni <laughs> pizza. Hop on the boat. Yeah. Great. That's all you need. That's, that's all you need. That's a great afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah. I love that question. That's and I love one. that you just answered it so quickly. Yeah. I mean, well, you said animal. I'm like, this will take four <laughs> hours. I have no idea. <laughs> food way easier. Food. Yeah. Yeah. We already talked about our love for food. I will talk about my love for food till the day I die. There we go. I love food so much. All right. Let's. Uh, what What are we at, Josh? Time wise. Okay, awesome. Let's yeah, let's do one more. One more. Oh, absolutely. All right. Well, in true fashion of this whole episode, (laughs) let's uh, end on business. All right. Can you read? I really (laughs) am gonna. I really am gonna skip that one because we have covered this a thousand times. Well, not a thousand times. We just like we did a good job. Expounding upon okay. a couple of the other ones. So I'm going to skip that one. I just thought you couldn't read the words. I can't. <laughs> what is that? I'm going to skip that one because I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, I love this. I love that we're going to end on this one. So like, what has been your biggest challenge from day one to now with uh, your business? Shirking? So this is interesting because we've talked a lot about my team and how much I love my team. Yeah. But they're also the biggest challenge, right. um, managing people and learning different personalities and, you know, how to manage each person individually and make sure that their goals are set so that they feel, you know, pushed and fulfilled and, and everything. It's been a learning curve because I had never managed anybody before. Right. Well, except for at Prime Valley Pool, I was like the pool manager when I was yeah. 16. But like, right. other than that, I never managed somebody in like a real professional setting. Right, right. So like they're, obviously the most integral piece of your business mm-hmm. so it would make sense that they're that, like it's brought on like the hardest thing because you just got like pe- they're people they're yeah. real people and they're it's people. like having to manage not just you're not just managing a schedule no. you know like you're saying that it's like personalities colliding and you know everyone's expectations are probably a hair different yeah and, you know, I mean, I always say to them, and I mean, if this gets posted, they say, like, I can't want this more than you want yeah. this, you know? Yeah. So, like, being able to figure out how to motivate mm. um, people and, and make sure that they're pushing themselves to their full potential. And yeah. um, it's just been a learning curve for me. I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. It's actually really good for my sure. personal yeah. um, and professional growth, but it's definitely been the most challenging. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I love people, though. <laughs> and food. <laughs> and food. <laughs> and beer. And beer. <laughs> Beer makes my tummy hurt now. I'm getting old. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, we're not going to have beer. Yeah. The, uh, wine. I will drink <laughs> wine. Um, so let's do a couple closing thoughts. So we've heard off, obviously awesome growth from day one to, um, you know, year five. Yeah. Um, so you're five going on six, right? We just hit five. And two. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so five going on six. So what can we expect from Shelf Genie of the Coastal Carolinas next? Where are you where are you trying to steer your ship? Yeah, so we're going to continue to grow um, the pull-out shelving portion of our business. It's really like two separate businesses kind of linked into one. Sure. Um, so we're going to continue to grow. We're really focusing on the 55 plus. Um, they're called CCRCs. They're um, continuing care retirement communities. Mm-hmm. Um because it's our bread and butter client, but we right. can also really help them. They're downsizing from big houses they've lived in for 20 years into, sure. you know, uh, a condo or a villa that's 2,000 square feet or under. Right. Um, so we're really focusing on getting into a few more. We work within two right now. Yeah. Um, but then on the other side, and like the really cool thing that gets me excited is the closet side of our business. Sure. So we launched that in 2019 um, mm-hmm. and then COVID hit. And oh, so yeah. we kind of yeah. just coasted, right? Like if a, a glide out customer wanted a closet, we would design it for them, but I wasn't actively sure. marketing it. Right. Um, I've recently brought on a full-time designer to help with business development cool. and um, just focusing on closets. It's nice. not like, hey, I'm a glide out designer and I'll try to throw some stuff in your closet. Sure. Yeah. Um, we've put her through some really specific industry training so that she can be the best that she can be as far as the design she comes up with. Um, but, you know, that's where I see the, the major growth. And if cool. we can grow the closet business to where the glide out business is, then yeah. we'll be awesome. really happy. So yeah. people needing some closet organization. Yeah. Yeah. Trying get to rid of the wire shelving. Yeah. Get just, rid of that wire shelving. It does. That it stuff. Really kind of stinks. It's going to rust at some point. 
I know. <laughs> or like, I don't know, it's not the best use of the space. Or yeah. like sometimes we'll go in and like somebody's overloaded it so much it just like falls on the floor. That's that happened I, to you. That's what, well, no, it hasn't happened to me, but I can see it happening. Those wire shelves are so thin. Yeah, they I'm just like, kind of start like tilting and they'll be like, hey, this hasn't fallen off the wall yet, but like how quick are you, can you install this? Because like I really do think it's going to fall. <laughs> yeah, like I've only got like four pairs of jeans on it, but it's just like. like yeah, teetering. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, that's where I see the growth going. Okay, very cool. Um, what is a final thought you want to leave with our listeners? Anything about Shelf Genie, business ownership, anything like yeah, that? Yeah, well, number one, everybody needs Shelf Genie. Yeah. So call us. Remember, we can help you. Don't the forget name. the name, remember Shelf the name. Genie, Kelly Barefoot, Shelf Genie. Don't forget. Um, but business ownership is way more fun than you probably think it is when sure. you're not doing it. Um, I think one thing that Wes said to me when we were about to purchase Shelf Genie was why are you going to continue to build somebody else's business? Build one for our family and our future. Um, and it just sticks with me, you know, every day. Yeah. Um, and you can provide opportunities for other people too, you know, and help them reach um, income potential goals that they yeah. want to. Absolutely. So. I love it. All right. Well, this is where you get to do the plug. How do people get up with you? How can they get in touch if they want to get some Shelf Genie uh, going on in their house? I feel like we've plugged it a lot, but yeah. um, it's just shelfgenie.com. Um, shelf like a shelf and yeah. genie like genie in a bottle.com. Yep. Yep. Um, you can see pictures on there. We also have Instagram and Facebook, obviously. Um, and you can book an appointment right online. Awesome. Makes it easy. Easy peasy. Cool. Well, anything else you want to share? I don't think so. Awesome. Thanks well, for having me. Yeah, of course. Thanks for coming on. And um, we hope that everyone out there learned a little bit um, and broke down maybe some of those stereotypes in your head about franchise versus local business, you know, that really like our kids you know. go to school together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, yeah. We're local. Yeah. It's, it's not like a, it's not this big thing. It's like they, like we went to high school together. They live in the same community, pay the same taxes, yeah. you know, yeah. Um, uh, and it's our business, you know, the yeah. it's not a corporate owned store. It's exactly. our business. Yeah. Um, so, you know, our kids go to the home shows and stand on the booth and tell people, well, shelf genie, Kenzie, this is a final thought. Cause this yeah. is funny. I love it. So when Kenzie was like, I don't know, maybe we we're like a year into the business. So she was like two, two mm -hmm. and a half. She seriously thought her middle name was shelf genie. <laughs> <laughs> she would be like, we'd be like, what's your name? And she says, Kenzie shelf genie. <laughs> And we're like, no, it's Kenzie, you know, May Barefoot. She's like, no, Kenzie Shelf Genie. It like took her like a year to like realize that wasn't her middle name. Clearly, I talk about work a lot at home or right. something. Did you like take, I would take her around to all my sales calls and be like, this is, listen to my child. She yeah. just says Shelf Genie all Shelf the time. Shelf Genie all the time. You need it. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks for coming on. It's been thanks fun. For me. And uh, you guys hit them up for any of your organizational needs here in the greater Wilmington area and beyond. Yep. So. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks. Alrighty.